Hello guys, it's Joyella Oakley, and I'm losing my voice today. <laughs> um, I actually forgot that I was going to do this vlog today, and now it's kind of late. It's 1 o'clock in the morning, um, but I thought I would let you guys know what happened on my second week of college. Um, I didn't write anything down like last week, where I had like everything that happened written down, so this is based off memory only. Um, so we'll see if I get, can get the gist of it. Um, right after my last vlog, I went to do my dishes in the study lounge right next to my room, and then, um, the group of kid, a group of kids on my floor asked me if I wanted to hang out, and then they moved to, into the study lounge and had like a little get together. They had been in the other lounge on the other side of the hallway, but it was taken by the soccer players to watch a movie. So they wanted my city lounge. And I was like a little skeptical at first because you're really paranoid at college when you first start, like you don't know who to trust. But I'm really glad that I went to the get together because I met some really amazing people who I'm talking, I just like spent the whole week with and we've gotten really close already and it's basically within like a period of five days we're all super close and like a family. Um, so yeah that night um, my nails got painted by a girl in my hall. They're like really beautiful, but they're kind of coming chipped off now. Um, and we all had fruit snacks and played cards and everything. It was like really fun. And I learned that the people that I were paranoid about, that like I was paranoid about everyone, um, were actually genuinely nice and awesome. And then Sunday, I met my brother for lunch. He came in to figure out my printer because I had no idea what I was doing. And it turns out it was just like sending my paper to the wrong printer. So, I don't know, if, like someone printed out my paper or something, like got my paper, I don't know. Um, I don't think it actually sent to a printer though. Um, so yeah, um, he came and did that and then we went off to lunch at a place in Kenosha with his girlfriend, um, then we got ice, all got ice cream together, and we went back to his girlfriend's apartment, and I got to meet her new kitten, um, it's not, like, new anymore, cause she got it a while ago, but it's, like, the cutest thing ever, she was blowing bubbles, and it was just, like, swatting at them, and, like, popping the bubbles, and it was just, like, so adorable, <laughs> like, the cutest thing ever, um, um, Sunday night I studied with Lorad, I think. Maybe that was Monday night. I don't really remember. Um, yeah, um, and then Monday we had another gathering in the lounge, but on the lounge on the other side of the hallway with like the same people. And I was still a little nervous to actually go over there, because I still didn't know what to expect. But it was a really good decision, like I said before, like, with the other hangout. And we ended up having a little slumber party in there, um, with people from our hall. So I got to feel more comfortable with the people on my hall. Um... There's like a really beautiful sunset on Monday night. It was so, and I was like walking back from dinner. It was like so cool. The sky was pink and everything. It was just so beautiful. Um, yeah, and Tuesday, um, started hanging out with this guy. Like, he's on my floor. He was one of the people from the group, but. Listen, he had a 
some interest to hang out with me. Um, so we went swimming, because there's a pool on campus, and I just assumed that everyone else on our floor was going, but it just turned up being me and him, and we got to know each other, like, for that, because we went to, we got, went to the cafeteria together and, like, just talked about life and stuff and became, um, a com or, like, good friends, I guess, um, like, new stuff learn stuff about each other and it was really cool um and that same night we um I wanted to decorate a flamingo because they're having flamingo decorating uh, <laughs> in the den um but it was kind of horrible because I can do a really good flamingo when I'm working with someone but if I try to do it by myself it just turns into a mess like my flamingo turned out so ugly but they have it outside the library right now and it's kind of sad to look at. I kind of just gave up because like green paint was going all over my clothes and my bag. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, and then I know I watched a movie on Tuesday night but I'm not sure which one. I think it was Easy A. Oh, um, I'm pretty sure it was Easy A. And, um, the guy I was talking about before that one swimming with, it was his room, and his name's Chris. Um, we were watching it, and at the beginning, his roommate paused the movie to read every single subtitle, and I must have been in the happiest mood, because I couldn't stop laughing when he, like, read the subtitles, like, I was dying of laughter. <laughs> Um, and the other people from our floor were there, too. Uh, yeah, um... Uh, my boy, um, my throat hurts really bad right now. Um... Wednesday, played basketball with Chris, because he's really into basketball. Um, and I, I like a challenge, I guess. Like, I am competitive but not athletic so I don't know like I like playing sports but I would never be on a team like I think it's too much work I don't know because I was like dying after one basketball game that I played and I think I did pretty good but, <laughs> but I'm not sure like my roommate's like really sporty so she probably would have beat me easily um she played basketball, volleyball, and softball. And then on Wednesday night, I was just kidding, and I told Chris we should watch The Notebook, and he actually said okay. So that was okay. bizarre. <laughs> um, so we did that. I'm trying to remember, trying to figure out if there is anything else. Um, I don't know. I think that might be all for Wednesday. Um, Thursday, I'm trying to think what happened then. Um, I did my laundry because it was, like, freezing outside. Like, um, it was, like, in the 70s on Wednesday, and then on Thursday it was in the 40s, or, yeah, it was, like, 45. So like dropped 30 degrees, so my clothes were all warm when they came out of the dryer, which was like amazing. <laughs> um, oh, what else did I do? I had no classes that day. Um, oh yeah, um, for lunch I met up with my commuter friends who I haven't like seen a week. I, like I met them on the second day of school. And we hung out, like, the whole day. And I never really saw them again at all on campus because they, like, go to their classes and maybe, like, study or do a few activities. And then they go home, so, like, I never get to see them. They're not in the dorms. And I don't even pass them in the hallway, but 
even though it's like a small campus. And you can like, wherever you go, you're guaranteed to see one person from walking from the cafeteria to the dorm. And it's like a small walk. It's like a short walk, so it's really cool. I like the size of the school a lot. Um, then for dinner, I met Lorette for dinner. Um, she's the most excitable person ever. Uh, like, everything's exciting in her life, and she's so positive, and she's really refreshing. Like, she always has a smile on her face, and, like, is describing all the small moments in her life as ten times more important than most people would think of them as, and... She just makes me really happy, because she's happy all the time, and I just love hanging around her. Um, yeah, um, and later, we had a slumber, another slumber party in the lawn, lounge. Um, and, but before anyone slept, um, Chris made everyone mozzarella cheese sticks. Cause he was like starving. I don't know. Boys are always hungry. I don't understand. Um. So he gave me a massive plate, like of eight of them. Like I couldn't like handle it. Um. But I ate them all. But I kind of wish I didn't. Cause like the next day I had like the biggest stomach ache ever. <laughs> but they were delicious. So <laughs> that was good. Um. Then on Friday. Just basically went to my classes, and Chris walked me to my classes, and sat with me, and brought all my stuff down, because I left Friday afternoon to come, to come back here to Slinger, because this is my home actually, I'm not, I'm my dorm room filming, this is my actual house again. Um... Today, I hung out with some of my friends from school, um, went shopping with my friend Angela around West Bend so I could pick up a few supplies just to go shopping, because it's cool. Um, and then we stopped at Sendex, which is where one of my other friends works, which is Christian, um, and talked to him for like two minutes, um. Then after we were done shopping, I dropped her off and met my other friend Liz. We got ice cream at this ice cream little ice cream shop in my town. Um, then she came back here and we watched YouTube. <laughs> she was like my two favorite things in the world, like YouTube and ice cream. Like, yes. Um, but before I even did any of that, I went to this big flea market with my mom and dad. And they had like the coolest things. Like I bought a Paul McCartney book, um, the Beatles Help CD. Like there's one table filled with filled with Paul McCartney stuff, John Lennon stuff, and Elvis stuff, and like Beatles stuff. So like I had a hard time choosing what I wanted from the um, from the table. <laughs> um, it's there for like. 10 minutes like trying to decide um then I found a cup that was shaped like Harry Potter's head like it's awesome you like drinking out of his head <laughs> but yeah so I thought that was really cute and I just needed to buy it when I saw it like automatically I'm like I need this I need this <laughs> like yeah um so yeah that was basically my second week of college um, Monday I actually got really homesick, and I was really sad, but then everything just got comfortable this week, and I feel comfortable being at college versus home, and fe feeling more, like, like on Monday I totally was, like, distraught, like I thought, this was too big of a step for me too soon. Like, I shouldn't be 
in such a co a co such a big college away from home, right out of high school. But I'm starting to think that it was the right choice. Like I've had so many amazing experiences already, and it's only been two weeks into college, so I'm looking forward to the many more experiences that will happen. Um, so yeah, um, that's my second week of college, um, if you guys enjoyed it, like, I don't know, it's just my life, um, so yeah, um, bye guys, I'll talk to you next week.